and as I open this up it gets larger and larger less and less focused which should make it a little easier oops wrong way to hit the sensor right here come on yeah that's the way to do that hi I'm Monte and welcome to the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers, where you always get the full Monte. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about advanced analog sound transmission with this laser and this bold port kit we built. Somebody said I was doing it wrong. Go back and look at us uh, trying to transmit country music by laser. Um, doing it wrong. Of course I'm doing it wrong. If I was doing it right, I'd have a job that paid me to do this, and I wouldn't have time to make these silly videos. So, here's to everybody doing it wrong and getting it done. All right, let's take a look around and see if we can figure out what's going on here. Somebody suggested that uh, I'm not getting very good output because this is a current controlled device, and I'm, this is the laser. I need to get rid of the current control, which I figure slice it open and cut it out. Although if I look at it carefully, I don't know if you can, if it'll focus. I see a little bitty resistor here on this board. And I'm thinking maybe that's the only control in this thing. It doesn't have a real current control. I'm running it through this uh, microcurrent meter, and I've got it and the voltage up on the oscilloscope. Okay, we're graphing current and voltage. We'll start turning up the voltage. One volt, two volts, three volts. We're seeing the laser get brighter. Four volts. At some point, this is constant current. That current should flatten out. Five volts. I don't see it. Six, seven. It's really starting to climb up there. So I don't think that's a constant current at all. I want to also trace where this laser first turns on when this current first starts. So we'll come back down on this side and see that it looks like the current first starts about right there, which is right at 2 volts. So if you can read this, which I can't, just says that these different voltage levels, it looks like we throw away this low one where it was barely turned on that equivalent resistance is about 60 ohms more or less uh, but that does not look like a constant current source we have zero volts here something like six volts here we see this laser come on somewhere like at two volts three four five and we say it uh, looks like it's probably linear up to five volts so what we really want to do then is run this at like three and a half volts so the waveform won't won't drop down here where the laser cuts off or won't go up there where it gets uh it gets even more nonlinear. I don't have the specs for the laser and don't have a good way to measure it, but just by eye it looks like it's somewhat linear in this range between uh two and five volts. That would be six, six would be five. So now it looks like it's not a current, constant current device. Let's see what the circuit board is here in the back of this thing. Huh. How does this laser module work anyway? I have no idea. Oh, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Ask me. I know this one. I'm really old. Ask me. Alexa, play when it rains, it pours. So because of our calculations over here, we want an output that swings peak to peak about 1.5 volts. I've got this meter set up to measure peak to peak here on the output from the Alexa. If we crank it you know, most of the way up, this is the volume almost max on this Alexa. We get something around uh, 1.5 volts peak to peak, at least. Uh, on the, on the top end, so that might be enough. Otherwise, we'll have to run it through another amp. So at this point, the right way to do this would probably be with a couple of little op amps. So instead, I'll grab a handful of resistors and a capacitor. 
So if I grab four of these 150 ohm resistors, it's one over 150 times four. Those are 37.5 ohms. I'm gonna make two sets of these and use them as a voltage divider. Uh, split seven volts and a half in half. That'll give me my 3.5 uh, volt center voltage and then uh, modulate that with the output from the Alexa to a capacitor. So here's one set and just like a good cooking show there's the other one already prepared. Well as we always say it's not coke and strippers without the booties. So where are the booties? This is the back of the envelope schematic. Uh, we've got our laser diode over here. Looks like this. Little laser coming out that's pew pew. And then um, it has about a 60 ohm input impedance. Now we're going to feed that from um, this 7 volts and ground. We put together about a 37 and a half ohm resistance here and here. So that gives us uh, 3.5 volts here. That's the center of the linear range of this laser. Then we have some kind of big cap and probably I'm guessing an output impedance of our sound source of 8 ohms. So that's our uh, music. So, there's the booties. Back of the envelope schematic. So this is what that looks like. Here's our uh, voltage divider. Here's our capacitor. Just so I could pop in various caps. Oh, we're also still measuring the current and so forth. Alexa, play when it rains it pours. There we go. That's the voltage out. We get a peak to peak of something around a volt. Volt and a half. That looks good. We can see the current changing as well. Let's turn it on. Let's see, we uh, open this up, turn on the power in there, just leave it open, it'll be a little easier to see, focus, uh, we need to hook air speakers up over here, alright, and turn them on, get a nice big hum. Oh, I'm hearing something. On these laser diodes, there was like a little bit of hot glue or something, some kind of glue on there. I scraped that off. And these things, you can adjust the focus. So let's look at this focus on this battery over here. Uh, it's actually a fairly sharp point. It's probably so bright, so it's not showing up. And as I open this up, it gets larger and larger, less and less focus. Now that's a fairly large point of light, which should make it a little easier, oops, wrong way, to hit this sensor right here. So now since I've got a nice big large point of light, come on. That's the way to do that. In the Hooters parking lot, waitress put a number on the check with a heart. If I knew the words, it would help. Now that's a much better modulation uh, by keeping it in the linear range of this laser diode. But there's a better way, well, at least a different way, an ease, well, it might be a harder way. There's another way to do this, and maybe we'll check that out in the next exciting episode of Coke and Strippers. So today we really got this music going across the laser. It sounds pretty good. We'll turn it up here a little bit. Right? That's good stuff. So, uh, I hope you had a good time today. I know I did. If you like it, tell a friend. If not, tell an enemy. In either case, subscribe. And don't forget to spend all your money on Coke and Strippers.
So if I grab like four of these 150 ohm resistors, that'll be uh, one over 150. That's not what I said. No, stop. Take two. Are you ready? No. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, 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 oh.